Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. As you can see here, we have the Looking Glass portrait. So you may have heard of Looking Glass, they're a company that have been around for many years now and they specialize or make these holographic 3D screens essentially. So I backed this on Kickstarter. It took forever to get here, terrible delivery service, etc. A whole deal was made of this. So this is the standard box. I think this is not sure if this is the normal box, I would imagine it is. Yep, so I don't know if my case is in here, I've not even opened it. Don't know what's in it other than the portrait itself, obviously. Hopefully it should have a UK adapter, we will see. Let's break the foil. There we go. And I think it's a lift up, which it is. So say hello to your first personal holographic display. Made with love by Looking Glass Factory. Ah, oh, there we go. Aha, so I also asked for the bag. So it looks like they've actually put the Looking Glass in the bag, which actually is nice. Uh, now, if you obviously don't have the bag, they won't do that. You'll just get a Looking Glass in a similar packaging, but without the case. So let's uh, open this up. It's not, you know, it's a quite a basic bag, obviously. It's just a bit of plastic netting on the front. Um, but oh, there we go. So here's the unit. I'll look at that in a bit. That's the kind of interesting part. It's a material bag, a little bit at the back where you could probably store cables, I suppose. Move that out of the way. All right. Oop, there we go. Just knock everything over. So we have our multiple ways to capture holograms. So it kind of tells you some of the software you can use it with, some of the devices. And there's a website that tells you, well, where all the links are and support and how to do all this sort of stuff. And some examples are already included. So we should have a cat, a city, a face, a national person looking for a magnifying glass and some sort of weird clouds. So we'll see hopefully that in action. Getting started. So instructions and again I will go for this with you in this video a sticker oh it's nice social media presence stuff all that uh, shebang we have a HDMI to is this another HDMI or is this a proprietary connector let's have a look HDMI to no it's HDMI to HDMI just a angled one so that's obviously where you can plug it into your computer or whatever device I suppose. We have a strap so I'm guessing this is for the case. Little bags of bits and bobs. So let's have a look. We have screen protector. We have various adapters for depending on which country you're in. So it looks like it comes by default with this uh, two prong that I then need to connect to my actual country's plug so let's work out how to adapt that uh, connect that is it something i just yeah something i just slide down there we go now i have uk plug with a usb-c cable so i'm guessing it charges by usb-c yep so it's powered by usb-c cable so i'm guessing you could also power it probably through a usb hub if it outputs a power source obviously to the uh, requirements of the device which Looks to be 5 volts, uh, 12 volts, 1.5 amps, max 18 watts. So yeah, there's all our cables. Now let's look at the goodie itself. So it's in this little protective uh, silicon thing telling me to take off the back. Oh no, screw it back on, put the legs on, and then it angles it correctly. No screwdriver required. Oh, the peel. There we go, let's undo this. Trying to uh, minimize touching the screen unit. How does this. Uh... Aha, so it's just sort of hooked in there. So this is the stand, so it'll angle it at the right. Uh, angle for viewing. We have the unit here. So 
I believe you have your menu buttons here. So this will change between your contents. And I think this is maybe power on, power off, or some form of selection tool. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not read the instructions yet. So back, forward, play, pause, loop. You've got an on off button here, which is indicated with an indicator light, and a button here to turn on or off edge lighting. So around this edge here, you can see this sort of very faint, if I just bring it close, you can see this very faint like white line. So you can have a white glowing outline around it. So just sort of, again, frame your image. Hello. Uh, you've got a piece of glass, obviously, that's set into the device. So that's what gives the holographic illusion. HDMI here, USB-C, and I'm guessing that's a microphone plug. I'm guessing. I'll find out. Yeah, that is for microphones or speakers. It can be uh, mounted onto a wall because it's got little hooks there. You've got a mount here, so you can hook it onto a standard tripod mount or thread, etc. And then obviously you've got the included little hooks here that to slot into this base. So which way does this go? This goes this way. So it should be a case of lining these up and then pushing it along. Let's see how go smooth this goes. Might have to take it away from the camera just to do this. There we go, sorry about that. So that's now on its stand. And this is uh, designed to be at the kind of optimal angle for viewing kind of thing. So now I've attached the base plate, aligned them up. I should be able to attach the USB-C cable to now plug it in, adapt it to my plug. So hopefully, like I said, there should be some content on there so we can at least get an idea of what it looks like. And again, I could probably do a proper review and actually we'll start looking at some experiments with this because I'd like to actually uh, create some uh, interesting experiences with this, especially with the fact that you can use it with things like Unity. So oh, plug this in, got a handy plug on the floor down here, and I'm just going to find the cable. It's probably on the wrong side. There we go. So that goes into there. Just hide the cable a little bit. So there we go. So press and hold the button for two seconds on the side. It says it can take around eight, five to eight seconds for it to boot up. There you go, so it should be booting up now. You can see this glow on the edge, the edge lighting. There we have the logo, which is itself a hologram. Again, you won't get a full effect. I can't emulate it on a screen very easily. And again, the angle is very much front on. As soon as you start getting to kind of this angle or this angle, the illusion does kind of start to diminish a little bit. But it definitely looks like there's depth in there. Um, let's see if I can bring it close to the camera so you can get an idea. So I tilt it left and right. You can see it looks like it has a some depth to it, should be able to change the content. So there we have the astronaut that's been seen quite a lot. They use it on their marketing materials quite a bit. And it's basically just taking a image or a video and just splitting it into layers. And those layers are being overlaid each other like you would with things like Photoshop or any traditional media. Uh, I, I can't do it, I don't know what I'm doing that, I haven't got the leap motion. So if you have got a leap motion actually attached, you can do the swiping thing and have this kind of effect where you can change the content. The buttons are actually, you don't press them, they sort of just tap them or kind of put your finger over them. And then we have the video. So we've got a volumetric video recorded there. I don't know if there's any sound because I ain't got any speakers. It doesn't come with speakers. You have to kind of plug it into your own speakers to actually hear anything. So again, it's, you won't get a good sense of actually what's happening uh, from the camera, sadly. But you can kind of get an, a rough idea, I hope. And I should better press the button here to dim the edge lighting or turn it off completely. 
So there's about three different stops, uh, no, four stops and then off. Again, we've got a 3D child. Just looking at what content is with it. So you can play and pause video content if you want to. It has got an internal memory. I need to check what the internal memory is, but it does actually have some. And then again, if I find it out, I will try and put it in the description. Got cat, got dogs. Bouncy balls character. There's a, quite a lot of examples on here for different use cases. And we're back to the beginning. But yeah, I will share some experiences with this over time. I will look at some experiments. I've got Elite Motion. I'm hoping to get hooked up to this. I'm hoping to get into the SDK, the API, the kind of back end and start creating things myself for it. But this is the Looking Glass Portrait, which is the consumer affordable grade looking glass screen it is only in portrait mode hence why it's called portrait um i dare say although it's not designed to be in landscape you could probably make it work in landscape and that's it like i said i got this on kickstarter this is available by the website i'll put all the links in the description down below i will be sharing more of this and trying to give you a better view of it and insight into it in the future in fact let's just see what's how bright it is with the lights off and I will close the blind. So this is as dark as I can make it at the moment. So it's a it's a clear image. I wouldn't say it's like obviously as good as um, a TV, but it is definitely you know an experience and the kind of direction where things will go as time goes on. And it's a starting point. And for the price, it is it's uh, you know worth experimenting with. So. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I have other unboxing videos that are available in a playlist at the end of this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.